Come that way, guys. Where's your car? Are you doing? Okay, go to your car. What's going on? Goodness gracious, it's so mm. hard to believe, but it's been one month since the bombing along 2nd Avenue South in downtown Nashville. It shocked our city and it left behind a path of destruction early Christmas morning. The only death was the bomber. Authorities believe he acted alone and died when his RV exploded. Our Metro Police Chief shoulders great responsibility protecting Nashvilleans and the officers he leads. So you might say John Drake was born for this. The former homecoming king, football and wrestling captain at Nashville's East High. Drake helped care for his disabled parents. He grew up in North 9th Street in East Nashville. That's just two miles from the epicenter of that Christmas Day bombing. Last week, the chief walked me down 2nd Avenue for the closest look at the blast site we've ever been allowed to see. And he talked about the moment he learned someone tried to blow up his beloved hometown. Christmas Eve 2020, Metro Police Chief John Drake had traded his police uniform for plaid PJs to celebrate a peaceful holiday with his family and two-year-old grandson. So about 6.30 a.m. I received a call that there was an explosion. This was an intentional act. Uh, this was a bomb and there was a lot of damage. And I could not believe my eyes and what I saw. This is the area where, uh, when I came in on the day of the bombing, it was just shrubbery and debris everywhere. Uh, glass all the way down to Broadway and beyond it was uh, broken out of windows. And I, I couldn't believe the vast, I was like, this is, this is huge. And, uh, it doesn't look at your city anymore when you pull up to something like that. It, it doesn't. I, did. I couldn't believe it was Nashville. We later discovered that there were vehicle parts from the explosion in Nissan Stadium oh as well. Oh my goodness. So a huge blast area. Drake says the expanse of the debris site is something few truly comprehend. And why this progress in less than one month is extraordinary. So where was the RV parked exactly? So the RV, as you look, there's a crater uh, right there. You have some bricks oh, yeah. in front of it. Okay. That's where wow. the RV uh, was parked, and the fire, as it, as I guess the vehicle went up, it landed, and then it just burned. So we had officers and fire personnel out helping board windows, working with crews to help as well. Uh, they've gotten contractors in relatively quickly, and uh, some of them, some some of their lives will get back to normal. Uh, but then, as you can see, some people have a. I got a pretty long wait ahead of them. On March 16th, Drake marks 33 years with Metro Police. The proud Nashville native says serving as chief is one of the greatest honors of his life, even when he's called away on Christmas Day. Was he just so disappointed that you had a race off? No, he wasn't. The family waited until I got home uh, later that night, opened gifts and uh, just seeing the excitement. So I still got to experience Christmas with him, yeah. but then I had the opportunity to do what I've been called to do, and that's to serve the community. You can just tell he's such a great guy. 33 mm -hmm. years, it means he's been a police officer through, I mean, the tornadoes of 98, mm -hmm. the 2010 floods, and then the March tornadoes last year, now the bombing. That's right, and keep in mind, he was just appointed police chief on November 30th. Wow. An unbelievable start to this particular mark in his career.